Building complicated or irregular roofs just got a whole lot easier. With Vectorworks 2011, you can use the Connect Combine tool to trim or extend a roof face to another roof face, a roof object, and some 3D solids. Before, you had to use multiple steps to determine the intersection points for roof faces. Now, all of the guesswork is removed. For example, to connect these two smaller roof faces to the main roof, you can simply activate the Connect Combine tool, then click on the roof face, and click the roof the face should be extended to. You can do the same to extend the remaining roof faces to the main roof. Now that was fast. When working with roof faces, there are two different modes of the Connect Combine tool that can be used. First is the Single Object Connect mode, which we've used earlier. This mode trims the first selected roof face to the second roof face object. This is also the mode you will use when connecting a roof face to a non-roof face object, like this shell. The second mode, Dual Object Connect mode, trims or extends both of the roof face objects to a common intersection point. Lastly, notice how the thickness for these roof faces are not the same. In the Connect Combine tool preferences, there is an option to use vertical thickness of subject roof face. When this option is checked, the subject roof face's thickness is adjusted to the thickness of the first roof face object selected. And there you have it. Now you can create completely customized roofs in just a few simple clicks.